Hey everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Draven Academy. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you the tactics that you're going to need if you want to avoid becoming screwed over, that's why I said screwed over, by everyone's favorite DMV. Now, it does not matter what state you live in, I'm sure everyone has the same experience at waiting at those long lines at DMV, maybe not dealing with the most friendly individuals who work there. Now, of course, they have a very, very hard job, so I do... I do give them uh, respect where they deserve. But of course, if you can't deal with people, it's probably not the best job to get into. But that's neither here nor there. What I wanna do today is I wanna arm you with the knowledge that you need so you can never get screwed again by the DMV when it comes to getting yourself a CDL license. I mean, we've been doing this for a while now and we have seen it all. We've seen students make the actual mistake. We've seen actual DMV make big mistakes that completely change the lives of our students where they can't even test that day or something is wrong with their documentation uh, and it kind of delays everything that was that was supposed to be happening. To give you an example, we had a student who was actually going for a road test. He got a road test date from DMV itself, which means DMV was supposed to check all their documentation. They gave this guy a road test date. We just showed up with the vehicle on the date that he told us that DMV gave him. And then when we get there, he can't even test. And why can't he test? Because he was missing one very important piece of documentation, which is his CLP, or Commercial Learner's Permit. This is something that DMV should have given him before he even was scheduled for the test. DMV technically can't even schedule you for the test unless you have that documentation. So he was never given this documentation, even though it was DMV's fault. When it came to test day, they denied him and they could not test. So that means we wasted our time of taking the truck, he wasted his time of going there, and this all could have been avoided if DMV just did their job correctly. So we're here to show you all the different things where you can get messed up with when it comes to DMV. If you listen to these simple steps and you are armed with the knowledge that you need, then it does not matter where you go, you can follow along and say, I sent you and I educated you. All right, so when it comes to getting yourself a permit and uh, getting yourself a CDL rather and going to the DMV, the first interaction that you're going to have with them is you're going to have to go and get your permit. Now in, in New Jersey specifically, and this happens in most states, you're going to purchase the permit first. So that means you're going to need six points of ID with you. Six points of ID could be your driver's license, your social security card, passport, proof of address. Uh, medical card, stuff like that, right? So anything that's gonna add up to the total of the six points is what you're gonna need to bring with you. In New Jersey, the permit's gonna cost you $125. It, that, the pricing changes in each state individually, so depending on what state you're watching this from, the price is probably gonna be cheaper because Jersey is actually one of the most expensive ones. But and then from there, you got the permit, You they give you access to go and take the written test itself, right? So once you purchase the permit, you showed the documentation that you need, now you're ready to go and take the test. The test itself we're going to be taking at a DMV that has a testing site on site. So not every single DMV does that. So make sure you check online before you actually go to a DMV and get the test done. When it comes to the test, you're going to have to take three different written tests. The minimum of general knowledge, air brakes, and then if you're going to go for the Class A, it's going to be combination vehicle as well. Those tests, you must get 80% or better on each one of those tests. In New Jersey, if you fail the test, you're gonna have to wait one week before you can take the test again, right? So everything there, everybody pretty much understands that step there, and DMV usually understands it because that happens all the time. Now, the problems happen after you pass all the tests because this is where some miscommunication can happen. After you pass all the tests that you're required to, you're gonna have to go back to the main, on the main DMV site, whether you actually purchase the permit, you're gonna have to show them that you pass all the tests. You're also gonna have to show them that you pass a DOT physical. And if you show them those two documentations along with your six points of ID again, then they're gonna give you something like this. It looks like a license, but it's called the CLP, or Commercial Learner's Permit. Once you have the Commercial Learner's Permit, then you have to go back to the testing site where you took the written test they're gonna to have to validate everything for you, make sure that you get a sticker on the back of, your per, back of your permit, and then they can actually schedule a road test for you. So I know it's not the most efficient thing in the world, but that is their system, and if you understand their system, then it becomes a lot easier. 
So when it comes to getting yourself a road test, make sure you have the paper permit that you purchased that shows the test scores on it. Make sure you have the plastic permit that they give you because you have the CLP. And you can only get that if you have returned the DOT physical to DMV itself, right? So I know there's a lot of letters in there, but if you just follow those simple steps, you'll be okay. Once you actually have the once you actually have the test date and you have all the documentation, if you're going to a school like ours, make sure you provide it to us, and then we can double check everything and make sure we're not double. Make sure uh, we're everything's okay and we're double checking DMV's work. I mean, we've caught students who actually were scheduled for the test by DMV itself. They wrote it down on the permit when their test was going to be, and they were scheduled for days that DMV was closed, like national holidays. I think it was like Martin Luther King Day or something like that. They actually scheduled this guy's test for there and we were able to catch it beforehand and we we're like if you take this test yeah we'll take the truck there but no one's going to be there because dmv is closed for that day so he actually had to go back to dmv and get the whole process all over again it was a hassle but it's a lot better than waiting for that day and then all of a sudden he can test and he's got to go through the process all over again too so at the end they people who work at dmv are humans they do make mistakes but the more, inform the more information that you have, the better it's going to be for you and the more smooth this process is all going to work out. So if you need our help, because this is kind of hard doing it on your own, uh, we do understand that and most people don't have a truck that they can just take to the test itself. So if you need our help in any way of getting a CDL license, you want us to help you train, you want us to kind of walk you through the steps of getting your license, you want us to actually rent the truck for you so you can take the truck to the test itself, say you feel like you're trained already, then you can call us up. We have a whole bunch of ways that we can help you out as well. 908-525-3609 or visit the website below cdldrivingacademy.com. We're located in Linden, New Jersey and we're here to help you out any which way that we can. We actually just partnered up with another nonprofit organization called Operation Underground Railroad. And what actually happens is anytime that you sign up with us as a new student, we'll donate a portion of your tuition to this organization. And this organization is all about saving people or turning people free, specifically kids who have been sold into the sex trade. There's actually more slaves who live today than ever lived in the history of the world. And that's something that most people don't think about. And here at Driving Academy, our main mission is to help a million people on the road to freedom. So we do that by helping you get a CDL license where you actually can make more money, have more options, and be free, right? This organization truly helps kids become free from being slaves in the sex trade. So anytime that you help yourself and invest into yourself, you're actually helping out another child become f truly free in life and change their life forever. So, like I said, if you're interested in becoming part of our organization, if you're interested in helping us out with our mission, and we're definitely interested in helping you out change your life by getting a CDL license, give us a call, 908-525-3609, or visit the website below, cdldrivingacademy.com, fill out the form there, and one of our team members will definitely be calling you shortly. So, like I said, we want to help a million people on the road to freedom, and I hope to see you on your road to freedom pretty soon, too. Thanks, and have a great day.